my body won't my body wants to attack even though like okay well then you can just miss <laughs> that's fine <laughs> It's really hard. I'm trying to, right now. I know, I know, but that's the thing. Like it's like an override for me. Just slow down time. though, and override it. Take your time. The slower you go, the easier it is to override. So you, we're just going to go boom, push. There. So like you pivoted after the. It's you pivot right away as soon as you push. You you did this. Then you waited for my foot. Then you, no, you push and then immediately get ready. Yeah, the only thing you don't know is where exactly it's going. And that's fine, but it's easier to adjust when you're ready to hit. Then you step to it, whatever. But you don't, you don't like wait until my push is halfway across the table to then move. Nice. No, 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 no. That's exactly what you do want to do. Yes.
one, so, so the thing you actually may not understand is that just by you pivoting, because because the other player actually perceives that in their peripheral vision. So as soon as you pivot and you you hamstrung, so you know, I think you don't realize like pushes. Uh, until you get to a level where somebody's actually going to flip the push to throw you off, most of the players you're going to play are going to be locked into pushing again. But sometimes they stress out because they see you pivoting once you've pushed. And they don't know it, like they can't flip it. Like they're not high enough level. So they're going to go, they're locked into push, but they see you pivoting. The most they can do is maybe try to change the angle. But the problem is they can often freak out and miss their push because Oh, it's adding pressure. Yes, it's adding pressure. That's why you want to actually get used to pushing and then getting right on it. Nice. And you see that deep to the corner push? It's hard to dig out of that. It's hard because they can't angle away. It's just like the same thing with the tops, right? All right. If you lock them, if you pin them down in the backhand, the push that they can get, and it's actually really hard to push up the line from here. So it's actually really difficult. So at most, that's why you can, as soon as you backhand, especially with you and your backhand, your backhand push is really good. It's getting it deep here, hard to get back and get it. So you'll win a lot of points just by hitting the push. Right. I mean, you, you go to the loop after as, a, as just in case, but you'll win a lot of points just by that. to the table and not weight transfer. So that, that's how you would normally hit that ball. You would go forward into the ball. But you don't actually have to. You just have to take your time, let the ball come out to you, and then go into it. For the way you're, you're supposed to be hitting those types of balls. Cause that, cause that shot right there is just pen hold the ball. So, so if that were me, I'd be keep pushing and then coming over and then going like this. But since you're not doing that, you have to, you have to sort of let the ball float out to you before you just finish the last or something. Like that. there is you hit a deep fast one 
and I was able to return the energy deep and fast. Yeah. So had you pushed that one, you would have been able to control the pacing of it. And that's why you don't want to just do it randomly. You want to 